Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show a tool that I made. Uh, this is a tool that lets you make 2D maps, especially tiled maps. So let's get right to it. So if I go into window, I have here a map editor. With all these shortcuts I'm going to open the map editor. And as you can see it opens this window. I'm going to dock it somewhere else, back in here, a good spot. So, as you can see right now, as I move the, the mouse on the scene, there's this little shape that appears. That's the shape that I selected here. So, what this editor does is, you pick a shape or a, a prefab in here, and you can put it on the scene whenever, whatever you want. As you can see. And that's it. That's the basic functionality, but that's not all that the tool does. By the way, first, uh, to make these prefabs appear here, you must put all of the prefabs that you want to appear here in here, as you can see. Now, anyways, as I was saying, you can build a map. So you press left click and you can drag to draw something. You can even pick to like weird stuff, whatever. And you can you can't put stuff on top of each other. So for instance, let's say I have an empty scene. I'm going to create here uh, an object, and this the objects are created in layers. I'll show that in a little bit. And as you can see, if I click on that same object to create more objects on top of it, it doesn't work. Only on the side it will appear more more game objects. So uh, if you want to create big areas, you press Shift and you press click. And you can drag to create big areas of the same prefab. You can also delete by clicking Ctrl and Shift at the same time and clicking and dragging. Or if you just want to delete a certain part, you can just Ctrl and click around and it deletes just what you want, as you can see. Now, let's go on to the rotation. You can also rotate before you, you put them here. You can manually put the rotation in here, but there's a, a shortcut for inputting rotation which is rotate which is alt r or shift alt r so let's say i go into and i put this I want to put this spike i can click on it and it does a, a regular spike but if i do alt r it rotates the spike and i can pick whatever rotation i want okay so that's the rotation now the snapping in some cases you don't want something to snap to the grid because as you can see right now everything is snapping to this one by one grid and imagine that you want to say to put a platform, but you don't want to put it neither here or here. You want to put it exactly in the middle. So you do what you do is you go you was unsnap it, and you of course you can click here to unsnap and snap, or you can go into Alt S and that will unsnap. So if I do, whoops, if I do Alt S, as you can see now I can freely move my object on the scene, and it can and I can create it. That of course only creates one, and even if you drag, it won't create many, it just creates one. So you can just put one at a time if you want to put something on the unsnapped. Okay, now back to the snapped. Now let me show you about the overwriting. So right now it's overwrite is turned on, so say I put here a platform, and the platform, uh, as you can see, it can occupy three blocks, three tiles, but only the yellow tile matters. So, uh, where the editor is concerned, this platform is only on the yellow tile in there. So, let's say I want to overwrite, want to put some grass in here. I can put grass in here, and I, put can, gra I can put grass in here, that it won't overwrite. To overwrite something, you have to put it on the block that that something is, which is in this case, the middle block. And of course here, you can also overwrite as you want, and if you uncheck overwrite, and let's say you want to fill this with spri with with spikes uh, in a weird manner. As you can see, it will fill it with spikes wherever there isn't something, which is cool. Now uh, the show console is only for you to see some commands in the console. It doesn't really do much. It's just sometimes it appears some commands. As you can see, it doesn't do much. Uh, now the alignment. So. The, the alignment is only needed when you have blocks that are not one by one. So the the alignment for this dirt, if I put any of these other positions, the alignments, it doesn't change anything. But say I have this platform. The platform 
is not doesn't technically doesn't occupy only one block it occupies several so if I click as you can see it instantiates it in the middle but if for instance I want to instantiate it from the left now as you can see it instantiates it from the left and of course if I want to instantiate it from the right it also does the same thing and uh, for and of course you can do this with any block you can see that the snapping is changing it gets instantiated from different places and this is the way that I found to support multiple sized objects it's not a very good one but it is how it is now let's go on to the layers so as you can see here I got here one layer and I'm going to delete, delete this one because it's full of stuff so right now as you can see I deleted the layer there's no layer in there but if I click it will appear a new layer and of course everything that I do while here the layer is on zero it will appear in that very same layer so now let's create stuff on a new layer and you do that by doing alt d or alt shift d to go up or down here so I press alt d as you can see it goes up and yeah, of course I can do the exact same thing I can instantiate anything I want and now into the front part so let's say I want to put something here and I want this so I, I'm now on layer 6 and if I click I create something on layer 6 and as you can see it doesn't appear and why? that's because it's a, the layer's priority goes from low, from the first to the, to the last so this appears first and this appears last so if I want just if I want this to appear, I have to move it up. And of course I can move any layers that I want and this is what always work. And that's basically how layers work. Um, by the way, you can also change the, the layers name so you can name this spike and it will name spike, but uh, always the layer number corresponding to it will always uh, stay there. You can name this grass. And again the same thing happens and of course if you move it the name remains but it go, the number changes. And that's basically it. Right now those are the features and now I'm going to just show you uh, how these the features uh, are blended with Unity. So right now I'm, I'm building this map but now I kind of made a mistake or I kind of want this, this tile to be scaled differently or whatnot. So I press, so I press the right click and then I can edit normally. It's like I've not, if I'm not in, even in the tool and I can change whatever I want. And if I just want to go back to the tool, I press the right mouse button again. As you can see, or in alternative, you can also click on something in, in, something in here and the tool will be activated again. And that's how this integrates with Unity. Uh, alternatively, you can also press one of the keys, one of the short keys here. So for instance, if I press E, it goes to that tool and I can now, I'm uh, again out of the map maker and again to go back, just press right click and there you go, we're back. And that's basically it. Now let's just me show you that this is not just used for painting uh, maps. It's, you can also actually make maps, uh, real maps. So let's say I want this like so and what not. And I want some dirt in here, so I do some dirt. And then let's say I want some uh, an, a trap in here and the spike in there. And I want my player to be instantiated in here. And now you'll see that it all works fine. That thing in here, there is instantiating stuff which, which can kill me, I believe. And I can also die with the spike. Let me show you. And that's basically it. It works. The map works as expected. Oh, and by the way, you cannot uh, edit the modes on player mode. So let me show. You. If I click on here, or, or if I try and instantiate something, you can't. Um, so that you couldn't do it. And that's basically it. This is my map maker tool. The link for downloading it is in the description. To import it to your project, it's very simple. Just go to the link in the description. Then go into downloads and press releases. Here is the latest released version. You click on it and it will download the Unity package. And all you have to do is then drag it into your project 
like so uh, right now I already have this here so it won't import anything but for you you will hit import and it will work it will import everything and that's basically it I hope you 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 put this map maker for good use thank you for watching and see you the next time